Okay, game two we go. We're gonna have AK Nan Silver, Zasin Tun, Cordy, Psychologist, Acrobash, and Mercenary here. It's gonna be one fly wheel with double window speed boost, and of course, Mercenary bring Tight Turn here against Saw M's Insolence Detention, no, Trump Card Detention, Night Watch. This probably wouldn't be too hard, but uh, seeing the game right now as well. What would matter here is if we're able to find more. Than, I mean, chasing out the Akko by technicality, it is really hard, but if Solomon wants to gain as much tax here as possible, it's going to be really hard because Akko can just immediately rotate towards church right now. Even if he is worried, he can, Acrobat can ball jump out that window. That was very close. That was very close for it to go very badly. Like, very, very, very badly. I thought that was going to be a hit or even a terror shock if he didn't vault over that window right there. But basement being nearby as well, this isn't really the best options for Silver to contain in. Still holding on towards that ball. Mm, gonna get a speed boost to vault over the window and try to slow down that acro. But it seems like acro already jumped out beforehand and that's gonna be a slow debuff given towards Sion, but slow debuff for slow debuff we're gonna be able to get the blinker and immediate hit register on your silver now then getting a little stuck between the tree right there whoosh not the best thing to see uh we are going to have a little bit of a pause right there uh both parties looking uh bathroom break question mark let's see how long this is this is oh going back gonna come back okay we're back we're back we're back we're back maybe it's some trouble trouble issues trouble, whatever network issues i don't i don't know but anyways going back to the game we go silver so will be oh playing the pilot mind games right there seems like Sam didn't really win that one we're gonna be able to bring the break the pilot and saw him kind of I'm kind of worried for Sam here now because this isn't the best solution. We do have AK nearby to give gun support and yeah. This is what no insolence does to a night watch in small maps like these with a lot of pallets sadly. It is what it is. We're gonna change targets towards AK right here or maybe it's because of the fact that we can't really find Acrobat anymore and seeing that Nan is actually giving tonight is right here. There's a huge chance that Sion may not be able to find- Oh no, we did find it but we didn't get a hit registered on towards the Psychologist. Psychologist trying to decode here for as long as possible. Meanwhile, seems to wanting to come in to finish that Cypher machine. But this is actually okay for the survivor side because there's gonna end up as a four-man endgame. Nan here can just take a normal hit before vaulting out the window taking a double speed boost. One from the normal hit and the other one from the window speed boost deploying that pallet down as well we're gonna be able to more open max presence but this cycle is still two hit down so yeah so yeah psychologist taking the pallet speed boost right there trying to pull away from the night watch right now meanwhile night watcher is tr still trying to chase after the cycle cycle will get a hit here registered immediately moving back right there probably thought that psychologist will go in between the pallets to put the pallet down but seems like that isn't the case we're gonna run straight towards shack right here thinking that the acrobat is actually nearby meanwhile mercenary is actually very closely towards the psychologist so those two can heal right before mercy goes in and rescue simply we we need to do i a a a a a a well 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 nothing we can do about that nothing we can do about that sadly as i feel like as long as saw m can chair like near shack everything should be fine but ak being nearby trying to chair near ak cipher machine that wouldn't be for the best because ak has already decoded the cipher machine for like 20 seconds for free during the time that you're actually chasing after the acrobat so maybe actually cheering back towards shack may just be a better idea overall we do see that psychologist is rushing towards that hey no terror shock we do see that psycho is actually rushing towards the cipher machine which acrobat was decoding but mercenary getting that no damage rescue and ak's main job is to rotate away from this area as much as he can ak with no items remaining on his sand so doesn't really want to use a speed boost there as well fair is fair we got a normal hit register right there but look at the other cypher machine right now it is primed teleporting back towards that cypher machine sees that it's actually the psychologist right here cycle well none of them have uh, has anything to use for end game but 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 the main issue is they can get something to use well main uh, just a cordy own honestly but anyways cordy having that elbow pad but mercenary also using elbow patch to touch normal hit right there the cypher machines are pretty darn dispersed uh acrobat and cordy going towards each other to heal right now meanwhile mercenary has been registered a hit there's nothing you can do here sadly even if mercenary gets a hit it doesn't matter because like you wouldn't know where the survivors are healing anyways and like during this time as well you are trying to like give full pressure on towards the cypher machine so like 
you you can't triple task as hunter maybe unless you're dream witch you can do it but as every hunter else you can't you can't really triple task right it, you either pressure the cypher machines and and chair camp or or like or like you either chase after someone meanwhile pressuring the cypher machine you can't do three things at once you can't really do oh none 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 but like but like what what but like what dream Witch can do is map control cypher pressure so map control stops them from healing cypher pressure stops them from decoding and chair camp at the same time she can do all three but most hunters can only do two at a time most hunters can only do two at a time oh uh, but let's see here so um i mean the cypher machine's prime so all what you need is a mercenary being at the exit gate right now right before cycle goes half and everyone rushes towards that exit gate at, for end game but like the cypher machine's primed anyway it's at 95 percent mercy is already on his way in towards the gate we get a hit onto a cycle the cypher machine is primed the pop will register right here and as long as psychologists just spam these pallets that's all really what she needs that's all really what she needs oh oh no all ah, right there was there was there was a try but like even if someone knocked down psychologist psychologist with the typhoon chair time takes like 10 seconds so it would have still wouldn't be enough time maybe you can you maybe you can find the cordy but cordy has an elbow pad which you can elbow pad and or run towards the fourth corner but anyways let's congratulate three minus escape here moving on to our second half now then second half we go we're gonna have boy coming out of scala or here come find space attention surprise surprise Oh wait, sorry. Confined, confined space of fast pattern breakings for batter. I see why now. We're gonna go after Nanako here first immediately. Never seen Nanako play batter, but this is training camp, so it is wash. It is. We did get a chip register right there immediately as well. That's a very good start. Right now, Nanako is gonna start panicking because she, or well, because he knows that the moment he gets the next chip is over for him so he's gonna play this very carefully as well dodging that chip right there which is very nice but i guess what's important for boy right here is the fact that whenever he sees a pallet just break it it doesn't matter you just break it so you can save your statues but you need to break the damn pallets nice dodge boo but that didn't dodge that one sadly didn't dodge that one sadly 40 second down wow Wow, 40 seconds there. Now let's re let's 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 evaluate on how Nanako the battery could contain a little bit better right there. The first thing is when you're in between the pallet, you actually hold your bat and ball. So the moment Gala comes near you, you hit them back. So then, like, not only are you creating distance, you can put a pallet down and vault the pallet to create even more distance. Right? That's number one. Number two. Number two, number two is the fact that like, okay, he gave a free hit, that's no problem at all, but like, you still need to contain for a little bit longer, even if it's a stun ball hit, even if it's a stun ball hit, whatever gets a blink out, gets a blink out, but anyways, with that no damage rescue, it seems like probably we're going to get the mercenary to come into rescue, Mercy has to come into rescue. Yeah, because they have two tight turns. Mercy does have to come in to rescue. Why? Mercy is going to be the decoy. But it seems like Mercy... No, you see, I still feel like it's better for Mercy to come in to rescue. So Mercy can be the decoy, gets the rescue, we get tight turn out, and then Lon does the gun. Uh, but... Ooh, ooh, there's one... Ooh. Ooh, that was a... F oh, what? I, I'm, I'm replaying that. I'm replaying what happened there. So we so we get that out. We got a chip on Nanako just on time during the chair hit as chair chair rescue as well, and then the rebound. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. These statues are landing today. These statues are landing today. Okay. Fair enough. But like that's also the issue with Gala. That's also the issue with Gala. Either the moment the game starts, your hands are hot and it's pipe, it's hot and piping, and it's ready to go and crush survivors, or you you just you just lose a miserable death. <laughs> it's never in between. It's really never in between. Uh, but anyways, maybe if they maybe if they allow the statues to spawn faster, maybe it'll change Gala a little bit. Maybe that could be a Gala new buff. Allow the statue to spawn faster because most of memory is ass. Uh, but anyways, back on towards the game we go. Mercenary coming to rescue right here. Meanwhile, me Cordy still having gun does ensure rebound kite, but blink, blink is still a thing right there. So, yeah, that's an issue. We got a ship right there, Fox. Very careful, Fox. Fox. Ew. Man, these statues are on fire today. 
the, this, these statues are on fire. Fox having to elbow pad out right there simply because of the fact that we can't get a double down in a situation like this. We're still missing three full cipher machines. Ow. <laughs> Ooh, not good. Not good at all. Ouch. God out's on fire today. God out's on fire today. But that's only because she's currently a max presence right now. But Galo's on fire today. And the survivors are kind of panicking as well at the same time. We're going to be able to throw that chisel out to see where Patient is. Patience, dodging. Yeah, dodging the chip shouldn't be too hard. Especially when it's chisel chips. It's quite easy to predict, to predict where like it is. And like there is a small delay with statue spawning and statue... Statue spawning and statue colliding, but it seems like Patient here will try to pull a little bit further away from the Gala. Meanwhile, Fox here still trying to go near Galatia, but mm, I guess it is what it is. I guess it is what it is. It will be a cell right here. They may have dungeon, but at least there's no TP on Boy's side. But like, even if they do get a cipher machine done, all it takes is for is for Boy to slug the hell out of the survivors and his GG will play game over. PB Shot right here has to be very careful. PB Shot successfully using the walls right here to dodge everything. Meanwhile, still no chip. Ouch. Ouch. It's just hard to land these chips, sadly. But maybe this one. Okay, maybe this one. This one registered at least. And uh, maybe. Maybe. Nice. Blink. Blink. Blinked. Beautiful. Beautiful blink. We do see that Fox is also heating in red carpet as well. Breaking down that palace. Boy, but what boy has to do here is realizing that Fox has healed. Well, he oh, tonight has popped. Tonight has popped. He's gonna use, he's probably gonna use statues here to locate. Yeah, okay, going straight towards the breakable corner, breakable walls right there. Sees where the mercenary is. Mercy having 12 pots is a problem, but them having three, three cypher machines is what kind of how do I say, uh, makes it not a problem. Mercy, normal hit with Cordy's gun. Ow. Ow. I could see where the gun came from because Cordy never used a gun, but also at the same time, ow. Because now we're going to use our last elbow pad. And in areas like this, it's not suitable for you to contain. And that's going to be a chip down. Sees that graveyard cipher machine is currently being decoded. Chisel will go out immediately to scout for where patient is. And the moment patient goes down, it's GG well played game over another format elimination for boy another format you rarely see this you rarely see this pp chat is gonna start crouching right but it's a gala after all at the end of the day so the moment you get tonight is the moment that you start to collide but it does seem like gala Glatia did see where patient is so it could be a bye bye patient here nope nope not just yet not just yet mercenary using himself heal there as well but you know three full cypher machines left on the field no points in thinking that uh, there's no way boy you would lose to be honest with you we didn't fly we did fly out we did chisel out and we do know where patient is i should put soundproof for my my door as well i should do that more because of my family. But anyways, Mercenary got another needle. Why why do I not get needles when I'm a half health, but I get needles when I'm a full health? Jesus. Uh, but I guess for Boy, what's important for him here is actually to go near areas where there is, you know, where there is, um, where there's chest. But the moment Fox heals here and Boy not having tonight is nearby. That's when he probably knows, well, not having to is here is one thing, but that's probably when Boy knows, oh wait, Fox may actually just be back there looking for items right now in the chest. Because that's kind of how it works when it comes to endgame. But Tinnitus has popped there, sees where the mercenary is. Mercy will dab to full health. Mercy did not, Mercy should dab to full health, but I guess, yeah, it is what it is right there. Then let's congratulate Formal Animation, Team 2 for winning against Team 4. Moving on.